What's going on everyone? We're going to do a iOS comparison between the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6s. Now this is not an iOS comparison like I just stated. I'm kind of an idiot when it comes to just coming up with things off my head as I just showcased. But we're doing a speed comparison. So they're both running the same exact versions of iOS. I did a comparison earlier this year, but let's go ahead and see how these two phones differ when it comes to iOS 13. It's supposed to be pretty good, speeding up a lot of app opening things with both of these phones. So let's go ahead and see which one takes the cake. Honestly, if I have to say, probably the iPhone 7 is going to win, but I have seen that the iPhone 6s can really stunt its stuff when it comes to app opening and all that stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and run a speed comparison. All right, I went ahead and moved like 10 feet over. Now this is the overhead rig, not really, it's just like my tripod or whatever. So I've already opened up all these like basic apps that are usually open in the beginning with. I don't really wanna open them again because it doesn't really showcase too much. I've just downloaded a bunch of third-party apps, usually the ones that I usually open. And I kinda wanna see how these ones compare when opening up against the 6S, which is on my left, and the iPhone 7, which is on my right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it started. One, two, three, we're launching Facebook. And I'm gonna try to be as accurate as possible. As you can see, the iPhone 7 one there as expected and my first glance and my first hypothesis is that the iPhone 7 will definitely probably win three two one if it doesn't win that's going to be pretty crazy that one was honestly pretty close but as you saw the iPhone 7 did end up winning let's go and do snapchat three two one and in that case, you saw the iPhone 6s one there. Very, very weird how they flip flop. Sometimes the iPhone 6s wins, sometimes the iPhone 7s wins, but I think most of the time the iPhone 7 will end up winning. Let's do Instagram, three, two, one. And okay, the iPhone 7 did win there. Pretty much, you know, it was kind of close, but it definitely won. Let's go and do Netflix, three, two, one. And I think the 6s and the iPhone 6s won there as well. Pretty crazy. Like I said, it's like flip flopping. I don't really understand that because we're comparing the A9 chip on the iPhone 6s to the A10 chip on the iPhone 7. So let's go and do Shazam. Three, two, one. Does anybody even use Shazam? Why did I even download this app? And as you guys just saw, I think the 6s won. But as you can see here, we're already into it as well. So maybe it's just a little bit different. Here we had to log in and or maybe we had to accept the thing, whatever. So let's go ahead and redo that one because it was kind of off track. So let's go ahead and hop out of both of them and let's go ahead and relaunch it. Okay, Shazam. Three, two, one. It was almost probably the same thing. I should probably delete that out. Let's do Bofa. Three, two, one. As in Bofa, these phones. <laughs> God. I gotta drop out of comedy school. All right, so as we can see, the iPhone 7 did end up winning there. And again, pretty much by a long shot. Now, I don't know why I keep getting into this panel, whereas the iPhone, my other iPhones get into different ones. Very, very weird. Let's go into Temple Run. Three, two, one. And this one should be interesting. As you can see, the 6S just blazed right into that game. The iPhone 7 is taking its time. And it's just, you know, a little bit right behind it. As you can see, we know with the 6S, we're already loaded. And then the iPhone 7, we finally get into it. You know, if you're playing these, you know, just you're on your way to somewhere, or you're playing on a subway or something, who cares? You're not going to notice it. It's not until you compare them side by side that you start seeing these things. Let's do Quizlet. Three, two, one. And again, the iPhone 7 did win there. It's so weird, like a lot of flip flopping. Let's do Dropbox. Three, two, one. And I just want to say this one of the funniest comments I ever got, that was almost the same, but one of the funniest comments I ever got was with my iPhone 6S. I made a video about it, how it was like faster or something like that than the iPhone 8 Plus. And someone said that Apple forgot to slow it down, which was actually pretty funny. I kind of relate to that. Let's do thank you. Three, two, one. And with the iPhone 6S, we're already into it. With the iPhone 7, we do finally get into it. You know, that was very, very weird. Don't know why that happened. I've opened all these apps on these phones already as well. So not too sure why that happened there. Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. And as you saw, the iPhone 7 did end up winning there, which was very, very, or maybe the iPhone 6S won, I actually don't even remember. I was like looking away while I was doing that, but as you can see, one of them won, that was pretty cool. Let's do Paper IO 2, 3, 2, 1. And with the iPhone 7, we do end up getting it. Let's go into the game, 3, 2, 1. And okay, pretty much the even on both sides. Let's go and see a little bit of the gameplay. This isn't that high intensity of a game, but it can be, as you can see. It's kind of seems like it's glitching a little bit more on the iPhone uh, success. It looks like it's a little bit more smooth on the iPhone 7. It might be a little bit hard to pick that up over the camera, but that's definitely the case. Let's go and load up the original paper IO. Three, two, one. 
and it seems to be i think the iphone 7 is going okay so the iphone 7 did end up getting into it faster um, it's not really as crazy as you may have expected you know but this is kind of showing like the difference between the a9 chip and the a10 chip like in my opinion dude there's really not too much when you think about it let's go and do fruit ninja three two one And as you can see, with the iPhone 7, we did end up getting into it faster than the iPhone 6s. And this one is still loading for some reason. Okay, we finally get into it. Let's go ahead and show some gameplay. Now, this is a pretty basic game. There's really not too much going around with it. And so that's pretty much that for those games. Let's go ahead and load up the last one, which is Real Racing 3. 3, 2, 1. And as you saw, the iPhone 7 did end up winning there as well. Pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and load up the Antutu benchmark score. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. And as you can see, with the iPhone 6s, 141,763. With the iPhone 7, 175,028. So kind of a big difference right there. You know, we're talking about 30 over 30,000 points. And in my opinion, it honestly didn't even look 30,000 points worth of a difference. I mean, maybe like a couple thousand, but definitely not like 30,000 in my opinion. And so to end it off, my assumptions were pretty much correct. I think definitely the 7 is, you know, faster phone overall here and there. I think honestly the 6S, as you saw, is still a huge competitor. I don't think it's like a horribly slow phone at all, as you saw. I mean, there were even some cases where the 6S was faster. So is the iPhone 7 always much faster every single time? No, not at all. And the 6S is still a pretty good device when it comes to performance and app opening speeds and all that stuff. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.